In this Chapter 11, Lesson 9, we're going to solve measurement problems. So let's look at our first example. It says, the blue trail at the park is three quarters of a mile long. The red trail is one and a quarter miles long. Stella wants to hike both trails. So how many feet will she hike in all? So we know that in all tells us we're going to be adding, right? We're going to be combining this one and a quarter miles with this three quarter miles. Now in their example, they, they, um, what they do is, is they take our one and one quarter plus our three quarters, okay? Because we know that we're going to need to combine them. And they said that it's equal to four fourths. So this here is actually that whole and they converted it back to its fraction. So four fourths is this whole. And then plus the one quarter, which was attached to this whole, and then the three quarters of the blue trail. So now in this step, they've combined these guys to give us five fourths plus three fourths. So if you had wanted to just convert this to an improper fraction, you could have said four times one is four plus one more is five, and you would have known instantly that that was five fourths. So now that we're here, we've got five fourths, which is the red trail, and three fourths, which is the blue trail. We combine those to get eight fourths. And based on our past work with fractions, we know it can't stay improper. So we divide four into eight, and that gets us two. Two what? That gets us two miles. And they've shown it to you on a number line as well. They've shown you three fourths, which is the blue trail, and they've hopped one, two, three quarters from there to there. And then they showed you five fourths. They hopped five more times, one, two, three, four, five. And that gets us all the way to eight fourths, which is what we had here. And then they converted it as well. So Stella will hike two miles. But that's only the first part of our problem. They asked us, for how many feet. So now we have to go back to our conversion, which was, I don't know, less than maybe four or five. And we know that one mile is 5,280 feet, and she hiked two. So we're basically going to have to double this number, aren't we? And they've shown it right there. They've multiplied by two to get 10,560. So Stella will hike 10,560 feet in all. Now, I'm going to go back up here because I know that um, when it comes to benchmark fractions that we can visualize, we can picture what three quarters looks like in our head and we can picture what one and one quarter looks like in our heads. And some of you guys like to think in terms of money or decimals, basically. And we know that if we have three quarters, we have 75, don't we? And if we have one and one quarter, then we have 1.25. One and one quarter. So we really could just take 1.25 and add it to our 0.75 and get 2, our 2 miles. And I'm just showing you that so that you guys can really understand that you know there is always more than one way to get to the right answer. Okay? In this instance, 
they converted their, um, M, their mixed number to an improper fraction, and then they showed it to us on a number line, or we could use what we know about fractions and money and convert it to decimals, and then we can add them easily that way. Okay, so I want you guys to do what you feel comfortable with. All right, now let's look at example two. In example two, it says that Dominic weighed an apple and a watermelon. Sounds like Dominic is home and very bored. Um, the apple weighed five ounces and the watermelon weighed 20 pounds. So there's our red flag right there, okay? We've got something in ounces and we've got something in pounds. So you know that they're gonna ask us that we're gonna need to convert so that we're working with the same units of measure. The question is, how many more ounces did the watermelon weigh than the apple? This word is very important. Than, T-H-A-N, means that we're going to be comparing two things, okay? So, first, we're going to convert our watermelon, our 20 pounds, to ounces. Okay, because that's what the apple's in. And again, when we're going from something larger as like a pound to ounces, we're going to multiply. And based on our past information, we know that there are 16 ounces in a pound. Pretty sure I've asked you to tab that page that's got those, those um, conversion units on it. So we're gonna multiply 20 times 16. And they've done that here for us, 120 plus another 200. So we know now that the watermelon weighs 320 ounces. But that's just the first part. Again, you guys, all of these story problems are gonna be multi-step, maybe two, maybe three steps. In this case, we converted first. Now we have to answer the question, how many more ounces did the watermelon weigh than the apple? So the watermelon weighed 320 ounces. The apple was only five. So 320 um, take off five gives us 315 ounces. So the watermelon weighed 315 ounces more than the apple.